Hi there, this is Erin from RobotGirl.com and uh, right now I'm having some pretty cool success with getting a hardware device to work with iOS but also a big pitfall that I can't figure out what is going on so maybe someone that's watching will be able to know so basically what I have here running on my iPad is the EA demo code from Apple's website uh, and I have the uh, Skywire MFI cable and so this connects to the dock connector and then it goes to RS-232 and then on the other side I have a SparkFun RS-232 to TTL adapter and it's connected using 3.3 volts and then it's also using the Serial 3 on this Arduino Mega which just happens to be an Android one because I didn't bring my Arduino Mega from home and using this one would be too difficult because there's not enough UARTs for debugging to see on the serial terminal. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny how it's like Android and iOS. But anyway, so when I plug in the Skywire cable to here, then it shows up with Skywire, which is cool. Uh, Selects protocol, this is the one. And so this guy isn't plugged in yet because I want to, uh, actually I'll plug it in first and then I'll explain. So this is just going to power up the Arduino Mega, Androidino, I guess. So now it's starting to receive bytes. Um, these two I'm pretty sure are backslash r backslash n and I'm just doing the uh, encoding wrong and it is actually sending all e's really quickly obviously with no delays this is how many bytes it has received on here you can see that the rx light is bright it's actually flashing well it's not really flashing, it's on constantly because it isn't taking any breaks. Um, but it isn't in any blocking code. As you can see here, it, it's, it's checking to see if it's available, if, uh, the, if there's anything coming in. If not, then it's printing an E. So there's no blocking code here to be worried about. It should be uh, doing something if it receives uh, the data and so th what it should be doing is printing it out to the screen so we'll start the serial monitor and we will also move this down to the screen I'm not entirely sure why it's sending E's back. <laughs> anyway, so now when I press, oh, let me just uh, bring that back, there we go. So send string should hopefully send something to the uh, thing, right? So I'll press it. Apparently it was sent, okay, but that TX light didn't even light up, and nothing was here, right? So what on earth is happening, right? So I'll do it again. You can watch over here. Send string. Apparently it was sent. Well, no, it wasn't. And watch the TX light, and it won't even do anything. Apparently it was sent. It was not sent. Uh, this is how it sends the, the data, I guess. It basically 
uses this call right here. So it's calling up its uh, EA, uh, EAD, I'm not sure what the D stands for, External Accessory Device Session Controller. Shared controller, so it's a singleton, write data, blah, blah, blah. That data. Okay, so then I go over here, I look at write data. Write data brings me back to underscore write data, but here's write data anyway. See, underscore write data. So we'll go to underscore write data. And this does exactly what it should do, which is use the output stream to write bytes with a maximum length, right? So that stuff should work, and bytes written is greater than zero. So and that's why we get the, uh, apparently it was sent alert. Um, so, I have no clue why. It's like as if it's getting stuck in this giant big black box, which is really weird because why isn't the RX getting stuck in this big giant black box? Hopefully someone will be able to help me with this because, um... What I really need the robots to do is listen to what the iPad is saying, not tell the iPad what the robot is doing, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas.